Hello guys, it is me, Victoria, and for today's video, I'm going to be talking about five blind spots that women have when it comes to dating and men that create a lot of confusion in men. And I think these are five things that men are often just purely stumped by. And they're like, why are women the way they are? And they often make a lot of guesses. And those guesses are like, perhaps it's because they're pure evil. And it creates a lot of resentment and hatred towards women. So I want to clear some of that up, explain five controversies, you might say, in the world of dating and relationships, and tell you the true causes of these five situations. All right, so if you would like to keep watching, please do that. All right. So the first blind spot that I am going to talk about is relating to this controversy in the world of dating, which is that women are giving men the advice that they want guys to be more sensitive, nice, nicer, more in touch with their feelings. And then men are looking at the state of affairs and saying, okay, women are saying this to me, but I see that, you know, these cool women are with these super badass asshole kinds of guys. So what gives? Are they lying to me? Why are women not being honest with me? And I get in my comments so much, oh, you are the only honest woman in the world. And I'm like, I don't like that because it's like, I know women are honest. However, I do see what you are saying that women are not giving you the full picture, okay, when it comes to what they are attracted to in men. Um, yes, I do think they are attracted to people who are sensitive, nicer, but it's not sufficient. And there is another part of that that they are leaving out. The question is, why are they leaving that out? Why are they leaving out that they are attracted to the backbone, the edge, the alpha qualities, the I don't give a fuck kind of mentality in men? Okay, here's the blind spot that women have. Women are instinctually drawn to guys who are badass, <laughs> alpha, don't give a fuck, um, kind of like do what they want, can't get pushed around, are cool, and naturally attract women. Women naturally are drawn to those guys and they block out everybody else from conscious awareness. So it's like this, okay, when you're swiping right on Tinder, you're going so fast, you don't even see the 10 guys you swiped left on. And like, you, you don't even remember them. You just remember the guys you swipe right on, the guys you go on dates with. And even if you're on a date with a guy who isn't really that cool type of guy you're interested in, you reject him and you don't give him a second thought. So therefore, women have a warped sense of men as a whole. It's a selection bias because they're only ever seeing and remembering and conscious of these guys who are in that top 20%, you might say. So therefore, when they are giving advice to men, they're simply thinking of only men in that 20%. Every other guy is in their blind spot. So when they're giving you advice, oh, be nicer and more sensitive, they're not talking to you guys in the 80% in their blind spot. Okay, they're talking to those guys who do need that advice. So in that sense, they are being completely 100% honest. They're saying you guys who are like basically don't give a fuck, super badass guys need to be more sensitive and more in touch with their feelings so they can be in relationships with those guys. Um, so they can better relate to those guys who already have that quality that they're looking for. However, they're not telling you a guy who is 
struggling with women and struggling to basically embody those qualities women want to be nicer, to be more sensitive. But the advice they're giving does not apply to all men. And the reason they don't see that is because it's a total massive blind spot. They only think of men as these kind of like hyper-masculine guys, okay? So no, they're not lying. They are not malicious, but they are not self-aware in that sense and unaware of the guys they're kind of blocking from conscious awareness. So hopefully that clears it up. Women aren't lying to you. I am not the only honest woman in the world. I simply became aware of my own blind spot and that's how I can tell you guys about this. And I became aware that many guys out there are struggling. Many guys out there do need help with women, do not need to be nicer, okay? They're, they're already very nice. They're already very sensitive. And they are getting the advice to be more of that and it's hurting them. So that's why I'm saying all this stuff about dominance and whatnot. All right, so let's move on to the second blind spot. All right, guys, blind spot number two. It's a very important one. Causes a lot of confusion and misunderstanding in the whole dating game. So blind spot number two is women don't understand how rare it is or hard it is for a guy to sleep with a woman. In other words, women have a massive amount of sexual privilege that they don't see. Um, there's a lot of other ways women do not have privilege. So I'm not saying, you know, I'm not generalizing here. I'm just saying specifically in this area, they have a lot of privilege and they don't see it because from the time women are very young, too young, they have had constant demand for sex from men. And it becomes tiresome and it becomes, you know, a given and it's always there. And you know that basically, you know that, you know, men find you attractive and want to have sex with you. And so women cannot really understand basically the male mentality when it comes to this. They can't really understand what it's like to be basically starving and to have to work for your next meal, so to speak, um, sexually. It kind of reminds me of like Marie Antoinette and how she said, let them eat cake. That's kind of women's attitude. Um, it's, it's unaware, it's a blind spot. Women don't understand that men have a completely different attitude when it comes to sex because it is so much harder for a man to have sex. He needs to work for it. He needs to study pickup. And you know, you have so many women putting down like those sleazy, trashy pickup artists. And yeah, some of them are sleazy and trashy, but you know, they don't understand, hey, maybe men don't have the privilege of it just falling in their laps like women do. Um, so, you know, I think there's a lot of negativity, resentment, kind of like hatred, towards men from women because they see this desire for sex as shallow, trashy, classless. Um, you know, there's so much hatred about like dick pics and stuff or, or, or just the fact that a man, you know, would be on a dating app for casual sex. There's a lot of like severe resentment about that by women because they're just thinking, you know, why would anyone you know, feel that way. But again, what they don't see is they very likely would feel the exact same way were the positions reversed. If they knew that they could never get attention, affection, intimacy, sexual pleasure, any of their sexual fantasies fulfilled, um, unless they really, really, really worked for it, unless they studied, unless they hustled. I think women would really act the exact same way were the um, roles reversed. So I just want you guys to know, women have no idea um, that sex is hard to get um, 
for men. Um, I really think they don't think it's a problem. They don't think it's something, you know, a woman should help a man achieve um, because they don't really have that perspective. Um, that walking a mile in someone else's shoes. Um, they have some serious privilege when it comes to this that they don't see. So that's all I'm going to say about number two. So let's go on to blind spot number three. All right, guys, blind spot number three. So women think men know that they don't want it to be purely equal on dates and in the bedroom and that Feminism does not necessarily apply there the same way they want it to apply in the work world and in the rest of their life. And they, do, they don't see a logical contradiction in that like men see it. I personally don't see a contradiction there myself, okay? But I know that this really confuses and upsets men. So, you know, to me, it makes sense that... Um, your dating life, your romantic life, and your sexual life is different. There are deep, primal urges. I don't know whether they're instinctual or whether they were just like force-fed to us from the media, from books, from our parents, from society, from a young age. But, you know, there is a very powerful desire in women for kind of a... How do I describe it? Um... An old-fashioned fairy tale romance, basically, to be swept off their feet. Uh, maybe not a fairy tale romance, but definitely like a dark, you know, dark monogamy, as I've talked about it. Um, in other words, and that has a lot of elements of like traditional gender roles. And I think that men think, hey, you know, feminism. Okay, you guys want to be equal, so uh, you know, I don't need to buy you any gifts or, or flowers or pay for your meals or make a big deal of proposing even or provide for you or protect you and they're very confused by that whereas women see they have a blind spot there they don't see that maybe there's a contradiction there perhaps they want to keep their old-fashioned ideas of romance and that is something I've tried to get across to you guys on this channel as well. That that is very important to women. Okay? They have a lot of ideas about what romance should be. And I want you guys to get on the same page. Okay? Because that's going to solve so many issues in your relationship. But, um, yes. That is a blind spot there. Um, women think that men know about their dark monogamy fantasies and that's what they kind of want in romance but men don't and that's something I became aware of from this channel if you look at book talk on TikTok you will see people women discussing the books they like to read the plot lines they enjoy the villains and the heroes they like they all fall into what I've talked about in some of my other videos, dark monogamy, the sexual romantic fantasies of women that involve old, older school gender roles that do not square up with feminism. So, all right, let's go on to blind spot number four. So. This one is, women don't realize how easy it would be to go out and get casual sex. They have no idea. So in a way, it's almost like they don't have sexual privilege because they f they know they have the privilege, but they can't get themselves to act on the privilege. I don't think men know this. I think men are very confused. A lot of times I'll see a woman saying something like, you know, oh my gosh, it's been five years, I haven't had sex, or there are no good men out there, and I'm like, so oh, horny, or whatever, and I just can't, you know, have sex. And I feel like, you know, men are really like, bling, like, they're very confused, because they're like, what are you talking about? Like, just walk outside your door. And I remember, I used to feel this exact same way, and I once, you know, told a guy that, 
and he was like, what are you talking about? Just walk outside your door and ask someone to have sex, basically. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, just the first person I see on the street? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, so you're saying if I just asked him, he would, like, actually agree? And this guy was like, yeah. And I, I was really confused by that. But in my head, I was thinking, well, that's fucking impossible. Because in order for me to proposition him for sex, that would be, like, phew, way too much. It was like a physical impossibility because women have been trained from such a young age to fear liking sex, being seen as a slut, being sexually forward, and being sexually aggressive. That's another thing you guys don't know about women. Women have so much sex negativity on so many layers built into them from a young age. Like I've been in so many groups with just women. As you know, I grew up with all sisters as well, okay? The sex negativity runs deep. We have it programmed into us from a young age to fear being seen as a slut, to fear being sexually promiscuous, having tons of partners, um, it's not unjustified because, you know, I get a lot of comments on my videos saying, wow, you know, who would want her? Like, how gross? And everything like that. I mean, I think it's stupid and pathetic and I really don't care. But so many women do. So many women are afraid of that. And it causes so many problems for them. And so this is why even though women could have sex whenever they want, whatever they want, however they want it. They don't realize it and they're always complaining about how they're sexually frustrated and there are no good men and whatever. It's annoying, I agree, but it is a blind spot, okay? And I had the same blind spot, so I have complete sympathy because I also thought it would be an inhuman feat to actually ask a guy for sex. Now I know how to do it. Should I ever need to do it? Before I knew how to do it though, um, yeah, it, it, it caused a lot of problems for me. All right, let's go into the last blind spot. All right, guys, blind spot number five. Women don't understand why men wouldn't want to be in a relationship. You know, why they just want casual sex, kind of going back to the other one. And they don't understand the emotional labor men do in relationships. So women understand the emotional labor we do in relationships, okay? And we do do some, okay? However, women don't understand the emotional labor that men do in relationships. Because, see, we center our own experience, basically. We center the fact that, well, of course, men want to be in a relationship. I mean, a relationship, that's what society says is good. And why wouldn't you want to be in a relationship? A relationship is amazing. You have like this deep, passionate connection and you can like explore all your sexual fantasies and be so close to someone and build a life together. It's amazing, right? That's how women think. But um, what they don't see is basically all the freedom and time that men give up to create this old fashioned gender role, romantic relationship where men are kind of, you know, babying the woman a little. Um, she's, you know, the princess and the woman is always right. And um, you know, the woman kind of like runs it in a way. And, you know, the man kind of fits in, in in a lot of ways. And so women don't see the lack of freedom, I feel like, that um, men have and men give up to be in a relationship like you know sometimes uh, I fight about this with my boyfriend a little bit and you know he'll say something like you know what if I told you you couldn't do this really big passion I have um, for dance because you know I wanted to hang out with you and that you weren't spending enough time with me and I kind of shut you down and said you know you have to spend time with me for like the sake of the relationship. 
And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, like that would be awful. Like I would feel like I would go insane. Like I would go crazy because like nobody's gonna tell me what to do. Nobody's gonna stop me from pursuing my interests. However, you know, there's many a time I kind of make him feel guilty, let's say, for, for watching like a ton of sports or, or video games or basically doing his interests. So this is all to say that this is a blind spot women have. They don't see the time, for example, a man spends comforting a woman, talking about her feelings when maybe, you know, he doesn't want to. They don't see the emotional labor that goes into that. So they don't see the work that men put into the relationship. And so I think that can cause them to be resentful of men because they're thinking, I do everything in the relationship. I give you everything. What, you know, what are you giving back to me? And they don't see that necessarily um, what men are giving back so anyway guys I hope this helped let me know if it did let me know if it made sense to you let me know if you see any other blind spots that women have <laughs> yeah so um sure uh, you'll you'll think of some so all right guys thank you for watching I'm gonna start making some more videos soon I have a lot of ideas yeah Thank you very much for watching. Love reading your comments. Bye.